Okay, so this is nine-year-old Emma right here, and this is her before technique. Uh, Emma had a fine technique before, but she was starting to, um, under pressure of play in some tournaments, she'd been in junior world, and she started to um, start getting on a roll of hitting bad shots, and she couldn't figure out why, and her father couldn't figure out why. So they brought her to me to uh, get her swing straightened out. On the right-hand side are some professional golfers. In the lower right-hand corner, there should be a little icon that you can click on to enlarge the screen. This is going to show you kind of the improvement that we can make just in, in one lesson, one hour. Um, and it'll she, she will only get better from here on out. So in her before technique, uh, one of the things we needed to do was really get her grip straightened out. Somehow she had gotten her grip, uh, she got in her right left thumb kind of wrapped around the club here. You can see that left thumb is wrapped around the club. She's got her right hand too far on top. Um, so we need to get her, her grip under control. So you can see in the in, uh, in this shot of Ernie Els, he's got his left hand a little bit more on top, got his right hand a little bit more underneath, and that's what we need to do with, with Emma. So the, the first thing that we saw is that when Emma would come into the ball, although she's small and young, she would make it work, but she was pushing with her right hand, and she was scooping the ball, and when you're, you know, maybe three feet tall, that can work, and you get away with it. But the problem is, is that eventually it catches up to you. So what was happening was, is we'll, we'll uh, show you here, we'll put a mark on the ball, and then she would hit the ground before this ball. So she's hitting the ground actually back here. So when you see her coming in, she's scooping this ball, so you can see the ground, she's kind of... Um, displacing this grass behind the ball and then she would end up pushing underneath with the right hand. So we really want to have instead of this uh, kind of rear shaft lean and you, and you need to start working on uh, the correct technique as early as possible because eventually it catches up to you and what you really want is this forward shaft lean as the golfer is coming through impact this club head uh, being able to hit ball then ground as opposed to ground them then ball which is what happening with Emma and then things would just continue to get worse under pressure of play and she wasn't able to get things straightened out so now when we taught her how to close the club face correctly she's able to rotate her forearms open better and then she's able to close the club face uh, better through impact and now she has a much better uh, impact position she's able to consistently hit ball then ground as she comes through now we don't just kind of taking a look here as she comes through and you can see from her extension through the ball this position here that her hand action is much better so much better extension through the ball closing the club face much better so we can see a huge improvement big difference big similarity between Emma now a nine-year-old and professional golfers and it doesn't matter which professional golfer we get in here we can bring in Ben Hogan and we're gonna have very similar look here so now we've got her with some great art forearm rotation. Or if we take Jack Nicholas, we're going to see the same thing from Jack Nicholas, the same position as we see in Emma here. And now we can see better extension, weight is shifting onto the left foot, much better, uh, much improved technique. So if we uh, kind of compare her, we're going to take uh, kind of her, especially to her impact zone. So here is Emma's technique. There she is before, here she is after. There she is before, there she is after. And that's really a much better setup. Here's her backswing before, here's her backswing after. There she was before, here she is after. So a little bit better turn behind the ball. And that's a result of learning how to close the club face correctly through impact. There's her impact before, here's her move through impact after. Here she is before, here she is after. So much better extension through the ball because she's learning how to use her hands correctly. Here she is past the ball before and here she is after. Here she is before and here she is after. And that's what we're looking for much better. So uh, if you'd like to have, uh, if you have a, a young golfer, junior player that would like to see similar improvements, uh, contact me below.